afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Philadelphia Phillies. Settling in now, Lorenzo Cain, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 1 1. It is a fastball that misses. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Game time temperature just a tick under 50 this afternoon, 49 degrees here at first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. And a full count to Kane. Three balls and two strikes. Line drive to center field. Williams is right there. One down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the versatile utility man, Brock Holt. The 3 2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Harper looks up. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. At the plate, Christian Yelich. Nope. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Three and one to him now. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Williams looks up. Gone! Back to back homers. Into the box now, Keston Hiura. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Set to get his day started, Omar Narvaez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. At the plate, Gene Segura. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Yelich on the move. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. In now, Andrew McCutcheon. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Holt for one. On to smoke, but it's too late as they'll get just the one. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. 1 1. This one's in the dirt. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. The 2-2. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And this will be fouled away. He's set. Here's the 2-2. This is line to left. Garcia is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. 
And now it will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's set. Here's the three and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Digging in now for the Brewers, Avisail Garcia. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Out to short for Segura. Scooped up. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Here's Eric Sogar, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Bases are empty, one man out. This is hit the other way out toward left field. McCutcheon on the move. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Batting it. The first base is number 12. At the plate now, Justin Smoke. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. The 2 2. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Kingery's there, and he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Next for Milwaukee, Adrian Hauser. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. One and two to the Brewers pitcher. Sogard at third with two away. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Sorry, that's the ball. And there's ball two now. All even now, two and two. Now here it comes. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Digging in now for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto, the winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for NL Catchers. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Still even at two and two. Now here it comes. Swinging a blooper to the right side. Here comes Yelich, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. That is good. Standing in now, Nick Williams. And he misses two and one. Throw over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. He's ready. Now the pitch. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting it. The second baseman. Stepping in now. Scott Kingery. One and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. 
first and second now one man out. Line towards center field. But sadly for him this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher Zach Eflin as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Yelich is under it, and that retires the side. Coming to the plate now, Lorenzo Kane as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he lays off their ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Nobody out, runner on first. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Little chopper back to the mound. Segura for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know, they do get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Christian Yelich. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking. Hot shot to first base and a great play to end the inning. to the top of the order now and that'll bring in Gene Segura the 1 1 this is line to left Garcia is there and he makes the catch for the out so next to the plate for the fills Andrew McCutcheon reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around now McCutcheon belts one carrying well to left field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So now to the plate Bryce Harper. Way outside nearly to the backstop two and one. You know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. The 2 2. So a full count now. Reese Hoskins is on deck. Too high, and that cost him ball four. At the plate, Reese Hoskins. One in, one out, and one on here in the end. Now the 2 1 is strike two swinging. <laughs> and there he goes towards second. Swing and a missed strike three. The throw. It's wide and he's in there with the stolen base. So striding in, Didi Gregorius. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. And that'll bring up Keston Hura. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A shot down the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now Stepping into the box. Omar Narvaez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game.
in front of the change up there as this is chopped foul at home plate. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So here is Avisayo Garcia. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. In there, 1 and 2 now. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting his showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. The third baseman, number seven, Eric. Into the box, Eric Sogard. A little roller toward the hole. Hoskins grabs it cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Now at the plate, JT Realmuto. He reached on a single in his first try. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Garcia has a read on it. Makes the play one away. So digging in now, Nick Williams. A base hit in his first trip. Inside corner called to strike one and two. Fouled off. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Digging in for his second at bat, Scott Kingery. The 2 1 home is taken, ball three. I got three one. Three balls, one strike. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Yelich is under it, and that retires the side. So the switch hitter Justin Smoke steps up. The 1 1 home. Count is 2 and 1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Weak roller right side. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Adrian Hauser. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now that So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the center fielder, Lorenzo Cain. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And Harper will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Zach Eflin. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Fastball just inside. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. 3 and 1 to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Grounder down the line at third. 
but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Line drive to center field, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. The batter, number two, Joseph G. Into the box now, Gene Segura. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. The next 3 2. And here's a ball hit in the air. After it is Yelich. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. Brent Suter is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Andrew. Andrew McCutcheon will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Smoke is over now and he's got it for route number two. In now, Bryce Harper comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 2 1. Ball three. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. He pulls this one into right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. To the plate now, Reese Hoskins turned on down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The tying run is into score from second. It's now a 2-2 ball game. Standing in now, Didi Gregorius fouled away. The set and the one two. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And it's fouled away. One and two. Here it is. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. New inning set to get underway. Stepping up to the plate, Brock Holt. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Oh, what a stop on the slide. He is out. In is now Christian Yelich. Right He's one for two in this one. Yeah. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And this is knocked down over there. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. The batter, the second baseman, Keston. Stepping in now, Hira. Keston Hira. Three and one now. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts. And that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in now if you're the pitcher. The Robert catcher. Stock. Takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Omar Narvaez will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Now the three and two pitch. Liner towards second. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. So now to the plate, Avisail Garcia in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Boy, the Brewers haven't done much up to this point. They need to get something going, and they need to get it going right now. 
Catch made by McCutcheon. Here comes the runner from third. And the go-ahead run will score on the sacrifice fly as this is now a three to two ball game. Riding in once again, now Eric Sogard. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. There's ball four. The first baseman, number 12. Bases are loaded here, two down. Two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam. Instead it's a foul ball. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. Looking to keep this one run game, the pitch hit sharply on the ground. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Ryan Braun will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Ryan Braun. able to resist the count moves in his favor two and one now a time to start making some quality pitches he finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base three and one to him now hitters count all the way here it comes pulled high in the air out to left field McCutcheon is under it and that's the third out J.P. Fireisen enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. For the Brewers. Number bottom of the sixth inning now. Digging in, J.T. Real Muto. He flew out in his last at-bat. Line drive to center field. Keen is there, and he has it for the first out. Up next will be Nick Williams. He's one for two in the ball game. Hits are even at seven apiece. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. Line to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. And in steps Scott Kingery. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. And this one misses for ball four. So the Phillies have got themselves a two-out base runner. Neil Walker will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Frozen on the fastball never had a chance and the inning is over.
Adam Morgan is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Adam Morgan. In now is Lorenzo Kane. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Hit out towards second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now Here's Brock Bolt now. The head-to-head -head with Adam Morgan. He's two for four. The 1-1 home is a slider taken for a ball. Morgan is among a dying breed, those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. And here's Christian Yelich now. He's two for three and looking for more here. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. We join for the traditional seven Corbin Burns gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Corbin. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop. Uh, got him swinging on the fastball there. Andrew McCutcheon becomes out number two this inning. And yeah, that one misses badly. It's ball two. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And that one is gone. At the plate, Reese Hoskins hits this one hard the other way, but that finds its way through for a base hit. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. In now, Didi Gregorius sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. Sir Anthony Dominguez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 58. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Keston Hiera, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. 1-1 one, one home. That ball two. Count is two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. One one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Ball three. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, 
There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. Into the box, Avisail Garcia. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A three and one count to the Brewers left fielder. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Hit hard, but foul. No outs, nobody on. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Ready for another chance? Eric Sogard. The one two. Hit in the air out to center field. Williams is under it. Two down. Coming to the plate now, Justin Smoke. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. Ball taken there, two and one now. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball laid off well below the knees. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Ready once again, JT Real Muto. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. A payoff pitch one more time. Into center field, line drive base hit. Into the box now, Nick Williams. Two balls, two strikes to Nick Williams. And there's a base hit on the line. The batter, number four, second baseman. Standing in now, Scott Kingery hit hard on the ground to the right. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Davey Grion will get a chance to really deliver off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the bases loaded and nobody out. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Uh, and this could be trouble now. It's three and one. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Corey Knable will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Jed Jerko is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Jed Jerko. Fouled away. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. A 
again a one two a swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now at the plate Andrew McCutcheon who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Yelich is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. Now the relay home. And they'll get a bit closer on the sack fly as they trim the deficit to two now. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Victor Arano enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Striding in to start the ninth, Jed Jerko as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Ani bailed him out with a swing three and two now. And it's fouled away. Here's the payoff pitch. Count still full, three and two. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Lorenzo Cain. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Two, Two and one. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hard hit ball towards the hole. And this is going to find its way into left for a one-out knock. Stepping in now, Brock Holt pulls this one into the air out into right field. Harper has a read on it, two gone. So coming to the plate, Christian Yelich. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Now the two-one pitch. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. The 3 1. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Keston Hiura. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. Ah, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home plate. And with first base open, it looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. David Robertson takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Avisail Garcia will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Two and two. Two out, bases loaded. Two. 
And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. Josh Hader takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Now pitching and batting in the fifth spot. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Here's Didi Gregorius. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now here's the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. At the plate, JT Real Muto. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. And he fouls this one off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Philly down to their last strike. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. This pitch is popped up. Jerko in foul ground makes the catch and that's the ball game. Anytime you can win a game let alone on the road you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win but they did just that eight five today the Milwaukee Brewers wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one Brent Suter earns his third win of the year in relief. Josh Hader records the save his fifth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Brewers, eight runs, ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For Philadelphia, five runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please... Drive home safely.